Survivability declines 7 to 10% for every minute that the fibrillation is delayed or restoration of sinus rhythm or spontaneous circulation is delayed. Puts it in perspective there. So in your health check this morning, Bill's safety, DeMar Hamlin's injury, raising awareness about the importance of CPR. Hamlin's condition is said to be improving right now by family members and doctors say him getting CPR on the field was critical. But they also say defibrillators are critical and you should become familiar with how to use an AED. Abby Lurica with our Verified team shares some fast facts about the life-saving procedure. You might walk past one of these every single day and know nothing about it. Let's change that. An AED, an automated external defibrillator, is credited with helping restart DeMar Hamlin's heart after his on-field collapse. We turn to several sources to learn the fast facts and best practices when it comes to AED usage. The FDA says AEDs are designed to treat people experiencing sudden cardiac arrest, and they're most effective when used within minutes of someone's collapse. While some are designed for medical professionals, the ones you'll find in public places like swimming pools and schools and in office buildings will be for public use. That means they'll include audio prompt instructions for how to use them, even if you've had no prior training. In general, the Red Cross outlines these steps for using an AED on an adult or a child over 55 pounds. Someone should call 911, then turn on the AED and listen for its voice prompts. Attach the pads to the victim's dry, uncovered chest and make sure cables are connected to the machine. As it analyzes the person's pulse, make sure no one is touching them. Shout clear! before pressing the shock button if the machine prompts you to do so. After that, or if no shock is advised, begin CPR compressions. As a reminder, you don't need to be CPR certified to perform the procedure, but the CDC says you should be educated on how to do it. That includes how to position a person, where to put your hands, and how quickly you should be pumping those chest compressions. We have more specific resources, including local CPR and AED classes on our website. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico. And honestly, we were talking about this yesterday. <clears throat> you need to know where it's at. Yeah. If you're, you know, at work and maybe they showed you your first down the job and you forgot, like track it down, make sure you know where it's at and how to open it. It's yeah. kind of like that fire extinguisher near the kitchen. You know, it's there somewhere, but if you don't know exactly where it is, then it's, it's not, not any help. You. Exactly. Yeah.